These are the new Vuity eye drops, which just launched in December of 2021. They're a new eye drop treatment to help people in their 40s and older see up close without having to rely on reading glasses or bifocals. They're an eye drop treatment for the age-related condition that causes people to lose their ability to refocus from far to near. That condition is known as presbyopia, and 100% of the population develops presbyopia after the age of 45. Patients with presbyopia can't read small print on their phone without using reading glasses, can't read small print without using reading glasses, or enlarging the font on their phone so they can read it. Or they'll take a picture of something with their phone and then enlarge it. Since I have presbyopia myself, I'm 54 years old, I'm gonna use these drops on my own eyes and then give you a first-hand review of my impressions and observations of how well they work. In order to know how effective Vuity is, we need to establish a baseline. So I'm 54 years old and this is really the test eye. My left eye is the test eye. What's my vision far away? It's 2020 without glasses. What's my refraction on this eye? It's plus 0.25 sphere. What's my near vision from this eye? It's between J7 and J10, which on a card like this, I can read font size up close that's between 2070 and 2100, or is the size of the font above and below my fingers, up close. Now my right eye is a completely different animal. I have a lens implant here, a premium presbyopia correcting extended depth of focus lens implant. And my right eye can see 20, 30 far away. My refraction from my right eye is minus 0.5 sphere. My near vision from my right eye up close is 2020. So for my right eye, I can see the smallest font size on this card held at 14 inches from my eye. For my left eye, I cannot see smaller than the lines that are above and below my fingers up close at 14 inches. So what are some examples of things I cannot see up close for my left eye? Let me test it. This bottle right here, if I had to read the label, I cannot read this label on the bottle. The only words I can see on it is the word Vuity on this bottle. That's my near vision from my left eye. Can I read the print on this box? No, I cannot read any of the words on this box. How about this bottle of antibacterial hand soap? If I were in a grocery store trying to buy some antibacterial hand soap and I needed to read the active ingredients of this product, could I read it with my left eye? I pretty much can't read any of the print on this label. I can read soft soap, antibacterial, kitchen fresh hands. I can read that. I can't read the first word here. This says neutralizing, and then I think it says paraben free. And I can read the word save there. Everything else is a blur. This alcohol label, can I read it? It's an alcohol prep pad. This is what I see when I look at the alcohol prep pad. I can guess that that says drug facts. I can see that that says alcohol prep pad, but everything else is basically blurry. This is presbyopia from my left eye with my natural lens. Can I read a receipt from my left eye? When I hold it out here, I can guess at the font that is in bold. I can read that this is $32, but I'm not 100% sure of the smaller size font. So how does Vuity actually work? The active ingredient in Vuity is a medicine called pilocarpine. And the concentration of pilocarpine in this Vuity eye drop is 1.25%. Pilocarpine has actually been around for over 100 years. It's a drug in an eye drop form 
that's been used to treat an eye condition called glaucoma. And ophthalmologists have used it ever since I've been in training. And we've used it rarely for glaucoma because since the 1990s, when I started my training, newer, more sophisticated medications emerged that were used to treat glaucoma. And pilocarpine, mm, it's used less and less frequently to treat glaucoma today. How does the pilocarpine inside Vuity help a person refocus up close? It works by making the pupil smaller. The pupil constricts. It's like a camera aperture that gets smaller. And as the pupil gets smaller, the depth of focus or the near vision improves. VUT works by constricting my pupil, so I'm gonna get a baseline look at my left pupil here. You can see the diameter, and my right pupil here, you can see the diameter. So it's now 419, and once I put in the drop, I'm gonna gauge how long it takes before the effect kicks in. And I wanna test my long distance vision and my near vision after I put in the drop. I'm gonna put it into both eyes, actually. Okay, so I just put it in each eye and we're gonna see how it works. We'll give it time, this, the clock begins. It's now 4.20. So we're about 15 minutes after the initial installation of Vuity into each eye. Let's do some testing. Can I read the print on this label? I can read Vuity. I still cannot read anything with clarity on this label. The box, can I read the print on the box? Not great. Maybe a little bit better, but definitely not clear. The print on this box is not clear. How about this? receipt. Can I read what's on the receipt? I would say I can read some of the print easier than I could before. Of course, with my lens implant eye, everything was easy before. It continues to be easy with the eye drop. How's my long distance vision? Just looking around. I would say it looks about the same. This is 15 minutes in. So if I test my vision on the near card, what can I read now? It's still not sharp up close. Maybe I could read like J5, which is 2050. So I probably gained one line of near vision after 15 minutes. How about this bottle of hand soap? Can I read what's on the back? No, and I can still read the front. And I still can't really make out this word right here with clarity. That's my vision at 15 minutes after installation. So we're about 30 minutes after installation now. Can I read the print on this bottle? Not really, still can't do it. How about the print on this box? It's starting to come into focus, but it's still not readable. What about the print on this label? Can maybe read a little bit better, but not enough to be functional. What about the, the words on this receipt. I can probably read the numbers on the receipt better than I could before. What about this near card? What can I read here? With confidence, now, in all fairness, I use this near card. I have it all memorized. But if I'm not using my memory and truly being honest, can I reliably read the numbers if I didn't know what they already said? I could read J5 or the 2050 size print. Now before I put in the drop, I could read J7 to J10. So I've gained one line of near vision after 30 minutes. Can I read what's on this bottle? N not much better. So if I had to see, this is the on the receipt. The receipt is the only item that I can discern an improvement in my ability to read the font. It looks about like this now, where I can make out that th 
this says 32 and this says zero and zero and this says 32. Before I put in the eyedrop, I could only read this size font and I really couldn't read these, this font and I really couldn't make out the address up here. Now I can read the address, but this stuff is all a blur to me. I really can't intelligibly read it and I can make that a little bit more. So that's 30 minutes in. Gained one line of near vision. Okay, it's an hour after installation. Going through it again now. What do we see here on our bottle? Still can't read it with clarity. The box, still can't read it with clarity. Although I can make out that this says above my finger, it says Chicago. I can make out the word Chicago. The receipt, I can probably read everything on the receipt. The bottle of hand soap, can I read the back label? Not really. Can't read anything on the front. The near card, if I'm being honest, I'm about J3, which is 2040. J3, 2040. So I gained two lines of near vision after one hour. Meanwhile, my Symphony Eye, does it read any better up close? It seems to read about the same. So with my lens implant eye, it reads about the same. Now, let's take a picture of my pupil size. Not dramatically different. All right, so yesterday I used the Vuity and I gave it an hour and I had modest improvement in near vision at best. So I'm gonna give it another try. So I'm gonna, this is day two. I'm gonna put in another eye drop. Just gonna put it in this left eye. Good. It's definitely in there and we'll see if it works any better on day two. So it's day two. I put in a drop of Vuity about two hours ago. It's my stopwatch. And what's the status report? Can I read what's on this bottle? Not really. Can I read the receipt? I can probably read all the font on this receipt. It's not crystal clear, but I can read it. Can I read what's on the back of this alcohol pad? Only the large items that are in bold print can I read. I can't read any of the smaller print items. How about our antibacterial soap? Not really, I can't really read the small print on the back of the label. So then finally, what does, what font can I read on our near card? Comfortably, it's still, it's not even sharp, but J5, which is 2060, and probably I could guess at J3, which is 2040. So I can read J5 to J3, which are the lines above and below my fingers, but they're not sharp. So my conclusion after trying Vuity eye drops twice, yesterday and today, and giving it at least an hour yesterday and two hours today, is that the Vuity eye drop helps just a little bit, but it falls far short from producing clarity that one would achieve with reading glasses, which would allow me to read everything fast, quick, and sharp, and accurately. If I had to use Vuity as my only solution for recapturing reading vision, it would be in inadequate. How does Vuity compare with reading vision from a lens implant? It's inferior. So if I had to grade the reading vision that one could achieve with reading glasses being A plus and the grade of near vision with a lens implant being, we'll say, A, maybe not A plus, but A quality, which enables me to function without reading glasses in every environment all day long, I would grade the reading vision with Vuity to be a C because I would grade my natural reading vision from my left eye, which has my natural 54 year old lens, I would grade my natural reading vision to be a D. It's unacceptable from this eye. When I have both eyes open because I have an implant in this eye, I can refocus up close, no problem, because I have both eyes working together. But if I had to rely solely on my left eye, 
without any help, without reading glasses, without VUT, I grade my left eye reading vision up close to be a D. With VUT, I get about C quality reading vision. So it did boost it, but it not, did not, in my opinion, boost it adequately enough that I would be able to function all day with VUT being my solution for being able to read all day without help. Now, let me go over some of the potential side effects and address them. So with pilocarpine eye drops, historically, the pupil would get smaller and the long distance vision would actually go out of focus slightly. I did not notice any decrease in my long distance visual acuity. Far vision remained good even with vuity in my left eye. Another side effect of pilocarpine is a brow ache or a headache caused from what's known as ciliary body spasm because this eye drop can constrict the muscles that make your pupil smaller and that can create an, an ache around the eye. I did not experience any brow ache. Another side effect of this drop is that it could cause your eye to turn red. My eye did not turn red at all. Cosmetically, I think it looks normal. Night vision. Typically when the pupil constricts, the night vision diminishes. I think one reason that I did not get much effect from this eye drop is that my pupil size did not decrease that much. As a result, my reading vision did not improve that much, but my night vision remained the same. If I recall correctly, when I used to use pilocarpine more regularly, it would have more of an effect on lighter colored irises. So if you had a blue or a green iris color, then the pilocarpine would work more powerfully. If a person had a brown iris color, such as my iris, the effect of 1% or in this case, 1.25% pilocarpine was less dramatic. So my instinct based on this initial experience is that brown eyed people will not get as much effect from this eye drop as blue eyed people. But that's just a hypothesis based on my own personal experience. So I'm sure a lot of patients are interested in trying Fuity and we will prescribe a lot of it, I'm sure. But in my own personal experience, straight out of the box, it worked minimally. And we'll see how it plays out in the marketplace going forward. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Uh, this is just my personal review of View at the Eye Drops. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.